Hello everyone! You probably already know that in ClickSense applications it's very easy to apply any filter to your data. Let's take an example from the previous file we have prepared together. In case you didn't do that, you can see the link in here. We have the application we already did last time. And if you select year, let's say 2017, we'll see the data for 2017. If you press on 2018, we'll see the data for two years. Press green button here and filter will be applied. Press the button here and the filter will be removed. But what if you want your filters to be applied to the application right away, that you would not want to use it, to use them? But you might ask, what for do I need that? I can click select everything I want to get. I'll show you. In our example we have this nice chart which shows the dates at the bottom and the number of days for each room people spend. If you understood what I just said, number of days and this is months and this is years and months. You can see 21, 28, 40, 51. How come there is 51 day in one month? Hmm. Because the dates are combined. Here are our rooms. Let's press on this one. And now we can see that it has no more than 31 day. And that's correct. Months does not have more than 31 day. Let's press on the other one. The same goes here. But if we won't select any filter, we'll see all days combined. So that's why we want to apply the filter, that it would show three lines for each room for the time period we will select. Let's edit our sheet by pressing edit button, press on the chart, select data. In here we can see our formula. This window is not too big to enter a bigger formula. So let's press on this button FX and we'll see our formula here. And now we have two options to add the filter. One is click sense type formula. Another one we can use ifs like in programming. If something happens, then the result is that. If something else, the result is eh, not that. True or false. But in this case, it's a very simple example and we will use click sense formula instead of if formula. We have formula. We have to leave this one like some days. It still makes some of the days, but we'll make it make some for one room. To add the formula, we'll have to add brackets. All formula goes in here. Let's type dollar sign. This is that ClickSense would know that this is a formula. And then another type of brackets to add additional information. Once we have this structure, basically it's a basic structure for the formula, we have to add filters. We'll type the name of the field in the brackets. The brackets are needed that ClickSense would understand that, is, that this is one name. Because if there is a space in your name, let's say room name with a space, and you will type it without the brackets, ClickSense will think that this is two names, not one. And obviously it will show you the error message. That's why we need the brackets. First goes the name of the column. If you don't remember the name of the column, we can see like all tables. Well, in here we have only one table and we can see field names in here. So if you type room, we can see that we have room name. Actually, you can type in here what kind of formula you want and it will insert it for you. But in this case, we already know what you want. Now, as we have name of our column entered, let's type the value. 
It's the same thing like in many programming languages like SQL or any other column name or value and then which value do you want to show? We need one of these brackets again and this for the name. So the name for the first room is this one. Uh, at the bottom of this page you can see that ClickSense is checking if the formula is ok. In this case we can see that everything looks fine. But if we delete let's say last bracket we will get an error message. Something is not ok. Fix it. So in this case we can fix it very easily. But in some cases it might take more time. Let's press apply. And here we go. Our chart has no more than 31 days. This is how it's supposed to be. Let's press done editing. We have a nice chart showing the dates for this room. What will happen if we press on this chart on the other filter? Nothing happens for this chart. This is because we already embedded the filter in this chart and any filter related to the rooms will not change anything in here. Let's add the other rooms. Let's edit the sheet again. We don't want to type everything from scratch. So just Ctrl A, Ctrl C to select everything and copy. Press add. We want to see it nicer. Let's make it bigger paste the formula and change the name of the room. So let's type the other name, press apply. Here we go. You can see the data for the other room right away. And we have the third one. Let's press. You can actually leave it, type it here because this is just the name. Ctrl Shift and the arrow keys will select you the name. Oh, actually we have this one already. So it will be this one. Enter. And you will see the data for the third room as well. And here you go. Nice and clear. All three rooms in one place. I hope you find this useful. If you like the video, please like it. I would really appreciate if you would subscribe the channel as well, because more videos are coming soon. ClickSense, Tableau, Power BI, Excel, and many other things related with data. Also, all patrons will get this ClickSense file. If you want to save your time by doing by yourself, you can download it from my Patreon page. See you next time. Cheers. Is very easily modified. Um, no, not modified, not transformed. Let's continue. Again. And we can continue. Let's continue with the video.